Hi guys, today I will explain block bounciness, elasticity, or whatever you want to call it. It's honestly not even that useful to know compared to friction, but I'm posting this video anyway. Here are the values I measured in game. And same as for friction, they have their own bounce weight values too. Which means the more bounce weight something has, the closer to that it's going to be. So, what do these numbers mean? Let's look at foil. It has a bounce coefficient of 1, which means it returns to the original height it got dropped from. Just like here. Now let's say plastic, for example, which has a bounce coefficient of 0.5. It will return to a quarter of its original height. I won't go into detail why that is, but the bounce height is always original height multiplied by bounce coefficient squared. Here I'm dropping it from 20 and it should bounce up by 5. And as you can see, it went up exactly 5. Because bounce height for plastic on plastic will always be 4 times less the original height. Fabric and sand only have 0.05 bounce, which means the bounce height will be 400 times less the original height. which isn't even noticeable sometimes. I'm dropping fabric on fabric from 20 studs high again, and it should only bounce up by 0.05. Like it didn't even bounce. And it's not even noticeable even with a camera. Thought the bounce would make a big difference on gears, but it turns out there's barely any difference. So you're probably fine using whatever material you like for gears. Just if you're using it for aiming turrets or something slow, then you will probably need something that's less bouncy. Titanium is already looking better. And with fabric gears, there's no noticeable differences compared to titanium. Well, or at least to me. Foil does actually bounce forever if it's bouncing on itself. It was going on for about five minutes, and it still hasn't stopped. And on grass, it stops after a while. And that's because grass doesn't have the same bounce, and it lowers the calculated bounce in between. This is where the bounce weights come in play. It should logically be the average in between them. So average of 1 and 0 0.1, which would be 0 0.55. But because foil block has so much bounce weight, it's very close to it no matter which material combination. So the calculated bounce is really close to foil's bounce. Because foil is so unpredictable, you can use that to make something that's based on luck, like a gambling game or something. But you will have to read the result manually, because there's no sensors in the game. I have no idea where the randomness comes from because this here should be bouncing on itself forever, but it starts to turn out of nowhere, which causes it to bounce away. Alright guys, this is it for this video, sorry that I'm late with it and that it's kinda short. Now what would you like for the next video? I could try making a tutorial for gears, or a video for the best way to buy items, or maybe another tank tutorial like one of these or just comment your video idea down below. And thank you so much for watching and for 1,500 subscribers.